Hey everyone, I'm Bren from AEM Electronics, and I'm here to show you how to quickly download and then install AEM data on your PC. So let's do this. First thing we're going to want to do is head to the AEM Electronics website, aemelectronics.com. All right, so now that you're on the website, let's head over to Software Downloads. We'll scroll down a little bit. And then right here, you can see AEM data. It's about 130 megabytes. We'll go ahead and just click download. You can go ahead and save this setup file wherever you'd like, and then the download will start. Again, it's only about 130 megabytes, so depending on your connection speed, it shouldn't take too long. All right, so once it's downloaded, you can go ahead and click on it. Then you'll see the AEM data setup.exe here. We'll go ahead and just click on that. And then now you're in the AEM data setup wizard. You go ahead and just make your way through here. Make sure to stop and kind of read through this licensing agreement. Once you have, you can go ahead and accept the agreement. Go ahead and keep on heading through here. Then right here, it'll tell you where it's going to house the program. And then right here, it'll show you where the start menu is going to go. So now here, we're at the select additional tasks menu. You might be wondering what the install WebM video transcoder is. So basically, if you want to do video overlays on your racing footage, like this one right here, <laughs> you don't have a video transcoder on your computer, then you're definitely going to want WebM on here. If you have no idea what I'm talking about in any way, but you still want to make those cool video overlays, you probably need this. I'll also create a desktop shortcut here too. And then we'll go ahead and install. And while that's installing, if this video is helping you out, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe, because we're going to be putting out more tutorials every single week. And then now actually it's finished, so let's get back to it. So now we'll go ahead and install our video transcoder here too the usual autofill stuff, everything that I explained before here. You can decide if you want to put a uh, desktop icon here, I'll go ahead and do that. And then we'll go ahead and install. So now the video transcoder is installed, but we're going to go ahead and not launch that at the moment. But what we will do is launch AEM data. And now here we go. Now it looks really complicated right off the bat, but this is actually just our sample screen. What you can see here just shows you the power of your data and what you can do with it. We'll be doing future videos where you can learn everything there is to learn in this screen, especially the quick start screen you can see right here. And there we go. It's that quick and easy. You're already done. If you like this video, make sure to hit like and subscribe and also hit the bell icon too, because we're releasing videos every week. Again, I'm Bren and thank you for watching this video. We'll see you next week.